Have you considered what happens behind the scenes every time you flip a light switch? What exactly makes the lights come on? The truth is we rarely consider just how our light bulbs light up, our computers power up, and our heaters heat up. Electricity is a huge part of our lives, that's a given, and we all expect it to be available whenever and wherever we need it. While flipping a switch is simple, generating, transmitting, and delivering energy is much more complicated. So, how does it work? The electric grid is a very large, complicated machine that is called upon to run 24 hours each day, 7 days a week, and 365 days every year. But let's start at the beginning. Electricity generation begins with natural resources. More traditional energy sources consist of water, coal, nuclear, oil, and natural gas. These resources come from the Earth and have a relatively finite supply. There are also renewable energy sources, like solar, wind, and biomass, that have an infinite supply. Some of these resources are intermittent in nature. The sun doesn't always shine, and the wind doesn't always blow. Therefore, they require backup sources to ensure a steady and sufficient flow of electricity. Georgia Power supports a balanced energy portfolio that utilizes all of these resources to generate clean, safe, reliable, and affordable energy. These natural resources are first converted to electricity at large central generating stations through processes that turn a turbine, which turns a magnet inside a coil, which generates electric current and voltage. These generating stations provide power for large geographic areas. In order to maintain reliability, the amount of electricity generated on the grid needs to match the amount of load on the grid instantaneously. In other words, supply must perfectly meet demand all the time to ensure quality energy distribution. The voltage created at these plants must be boosted up so that it can efficiently travel over long distances wherever the energy is needed. Large towers are then used to carry this high voltage power all across the state, transmitting electricity closer to where our homes and businesses are located. However, before we can all use this power, it must be stepped down to a lower, safer level. This happens in substations, which you've definitely seen while driving along roads in your community. These fenced areas contain a lot of power equipment that is used to step down high voltage to much lower levels. This step-down electricity is then distributed into our communities through power lines along city streets and highways. The energy is now much closer to our light bulbs. However, the voltage is still too high for our personal use. A smaller transformer near our property is required to step the voltage down once again. From here, it heads to the meter, from which it's distributed into the wires inside our homes and businesses. Finally, the energy created at the generating station many miles from your home has traveled across the large electric grid into your home and to your electric devices. So, while the switch is easy to flip, powering your light bulb is anything but simple. In fact, it's pretty amazing. The next time you turn on the lights, charge your cell phone, or turn on your television, know that Georgia Power is committed to being there for you when you need us most, providing safe, clean, reliable, and affordable energy at the flip of a switch.